software at work welcome you the tally for gst three easy steps to be compliant for gst with tally number 1 upgrade your tally to the latest release 6 number 2 migrate the data to latest release number 3 configure your company stock groups and ledger for gst and start your billing with gst compliance let's see how to migrate your data to latest release of tally select your company data of release 5 and open the company in latest release 6 as soon you select the company tally you force to take backup in predefined path once your data is migrated you will be come up with screen to enable the gst for your company just enter and proceed update your gst details update your company gst number tally will check for the gst number format and if any mismatch it will alert you with error message you are dealing in single tax product or service you can enable the tax rate at company level with details of your product hsn code and service accounting codes tax rate and proceed with your billing this may be the rare case hence we will move to the further steps enable the gst classifications to apply the gst at stock group level stock level ledger group level or ledger level also now we are done with company level configuration the same process can be performed from the f11 company features f3 statutory and taxation screen also define the tax rates under gst you can define the tax rates at stock group level stock item level ledger group level ledger accounts this will be depends on the number of tax rates applicable to you and product number with hsn codes let's see how we can define the tax rates at various stage of enable the gst we will start with stock group level where we can define the taxes and hsn codes go to the stock group alteration screen and define the tax rate with hsn codes and tax rates when the define the tax rate at stock group level it will be applicable to all stock item under said group this we can apply to the finished goods as grouping and tax rates are in our control for the raw material and other accessories can be defined taxes at stock item level let's see how we can define the taxes at stock item level go to the stock item alteration screen and set tax rate as we define the tax of stock group we can define tax rate multiple stock We can also define tax rate for multi item or group or stock item from tax rate setup in single screen if 
we define the tax rate at stock item level, then we do not require to define the taxes at accounts level. If we are dealing with few number of tax rate product, we can define the taxes at ledger level or ledger group levels. Let's see how we can define the tax rates as accounts group level. Go to the ledger group alteration screen and define tax rates with HSN codes. Same way, we can define tax rates with HSN codes at ledger levels also. Now, we are create the GST tax ledger. GST tax ledger for the tax rate applicable. Go to the accounts info, ledger and create. The name of tax ledger is IGST as rate 18 percent under duties and taxes select a tax type head is integrated tax and percentage now another tax ledger is cgst at the rate 9 percent under duties and taxes tax type gst and central tax with percentage 9. Remaining ledger is SGST at the rate 9%. Under duties and taxes, tax or duty type GST and tax type is state tax with percentage 9. This way we can create tax ledger for different taxes. We will also see the configuration is required at customer or vendor ledger level. At customer or vendor ledger level, we need to update country, state, GSTN number and type of registration, which is required or mandatory for proper tax calculation. Now, we are ready with to raise Now we are ready with to raise the invoice from tally. Let's go to voucher. First uh, select your period and let's go to the voucher. Select the sales voucher pressing F8. Select your customer name or customer ledger. Select your item, define your go down quantity, rate and total. Select your sales ledger and then after select your taxes ledger. Now here not calculating your taxes now we are checking what is the problem in tax calculation there is the difference date selected now select the taxes gst is applicable from 1st july first uh, select the uh, 1st july 2017 then it's calculate automatically tax calculation 
Now, if the transaction with within the state, then select tax leisure, CGST, and SGST. If the transaction is outside of state, then select tax leisure, IGST. The calculation of tax uh, will happen based on state defined at customer master level, which can be changed at entry level. We are finishing the invoice entry. Let's see the preview of sales invoice. Press Alt P, print preview Alt I and Alt Z for zoom. Now you can take the printout of invoice and start dispatching the material. Thank you.